This is Yuka from Sixth Sense. What we have here is a SRC 600 controller in a white enclosure. What we are going to look at is the, the touchscreen controller and its uh, user interface. A uh, quick preview uh, how it works. What we see here is an energy ring which uh, illustrates if there is a heating or cooling demand. At the moment it shows a blue ring which indicates that uh, there is a, a cooling demand. Uh, because the uh, temperature target is 19 degrees and room temperature is 21.8 degrees. If we just press these buttons up and down, we can increase the, um, uh, the set point, the target, and we increase the target to 25 degrees. Now we have a heating demand and therefore the ring is uh, red. You can also see when I'm chasing the, the temperature target, it is automatically adjusting the fan speed. So these SRC 600 controllers are uh, controllers that have a lot of functionality and capability for typical room control applications. They also come with uh, CO2 options and uh, humidity options. The SRC 600 controller user interface is configurable. What we have here is a, a centigrade Fahrenheit uh, selection. If I select that, the uh, display starts to use the Fahrenheit uh, units. It can be also um, be configured in an engineering state to use the uh, Fahrenheit as an engineering unit. What you see here is a dimming icon. Uh, the screen automatically dims out uh, to a background level after about uh, 30 seconds, but I can also manually dim it. And if I press it again in a dim position, it goes completely uh, black, which means that it's very useful for the hotel applications and the bedrooms where you may not want to have a, a light in a room. If you press the screen again, that comes alive and we can see the, the latest settings. What we have also here in this CE models, what we have is an um, extension button. So we have a time extension and we can um, boost the system for a specified time according to the settings. If enabled, um, the user can also adjust the fan speed. As you saw earlier, uh, the fan speed is automatically adjusted based on the uh, demand. I will swap it back to centigrade. Uh, we can see now there is a, approximately 50% uh, demand, uh, 50 about 75% of the demand. But if we manually want to override, we just press the fan icon and we can manually override the, the fan speed. This is only available if you configure that to be available. Also, the fan icon can be completely uh, disabled, so there is no fan icon on display. The SRC 600 controllers can be used in a wide variety of applications. What we also here have is a room temperature. If we, if we had a CO2 sensor, that would rotate between room temperature and a CO2. This is also something called action ring, and by pressing the ring, we can go to the second screen where we have further options, such as cleaning icon that allows the screen to be cleaned, uh, echo mode icon, so if I enable that to the echo mode and go back to the front screen, you can see the system is in echo mode. In this mode, uh, uh, the temperature dead zone has been expanded, so it is uh, reducing the energy consumption in the building. If I press the echo mode icon off, uh, it goes to the normal mode. You can connect these devices to the Modbus and Backness networks, and you can do all the settings and uh, all the runtime operations over the communication networks. So they are really suitable devices for the, for the connections for the BMS systems. Now, if I press the action ring again, I go to the second screen, there's a little cogwheel icon that allows us to access to the configuration settings. So if I press that, it asks for the maintenance code. I need to enter the default maintenance code, 6666, and we go there and this is now so the, all the configuration settings. Furthermore, we have this uh, little info screen that allows to see all the readings and outputs for the controller. This is very useful in a, in a, at the commissioning stage to see how the system is operating and evaluating the, the performance of the, of the system. If I go back, now we have a different menu settings. We have a control settings, we have inputs and outputs, fan boost, lights, blinds icons, alarms and system settings. If I for example go to the alarms, I can set up the alarm source. So in this case I put the room temperature, I put the amber alarm threshold to a 20 degrees. 
and then I put the red alarm threshold to 23 degrees and if I now come back to the front screen uh, after changing the settings you can see there's a little alarm bell icon there so this is again another very useful function uh, to uh, alerting the users if the temperature or CO2 or humidity goes above or below certain values. In terms of the control settings, uh, the controller is highly flexible. So if I can, I can go to the settings, 666, you can see if I go to the control op operation, I can set the nominal set point. That's the, the set point where we normally control. I can set the dead zone settings on a, on a comfort day mode. I can also set up the different dead zone settings in, a, in echo mode. The cooling and heating dead zones can be asymmetrical, which allows, uh, again, further energy savings. Typically, you would set up the heating dead zone maybe half a degree and cooling dead zone possibly to uh, two degrees, meaning that if the temperature set point is 21, the cooling only uh, starts uh, working after th uh, 23 degrees, uh, saving significantly on that ex expensive cooling energy. Coming out from the control settings, we have uh, inputs and outputs. Again, on inputs and outputs, I can, for example, change the description of the text so the, uh, the device can be configured more suitable for the application. I can also go to the uh, fan settings. In this case, I can change the fan manual operation, for example, to 0 to 6, six position which is typically used for easy fans. So this product can either su it, it can support uh, on-off fans, three-point uh, three fans, and EC fans. The fan speed can be controlled based on a lot of different uh, um, demands. For example, as default, is based on heating and cooling demand, and we can set up the minimum fan levels for the system. So, for example, in case of EC fan, we have a minimum level where the fan needs to run, and when it goes inside the dead zone, the uh, device um, switches the fan off after fan off delay time which is what we have a setting here. We can set up the boost times as we already showed in a pivot and if it's a CE model we also have a lights and apply settings. So I can just to set up the lights mode and I can set up the blinds mode and go there and go to back to the front screen and you can see we have a two new icons where we can set up the light levels and we can override the blinds levels. As you can see, the SRC600 control is a highly flexible controller, and this is a quick preview of its functionality. Thank you.